So what else can I do to it? Well, what might be nice is to put a hole through it. So the easiest way to do that is to basically select a surface and draw a line corner to corner to find the middle and put a hole through the middle. So I'm going to go for sketches again. I'm going to choose this one called polyline. And from polyline, I'm going to say, where do I want to do it? Well, I want to do it on this solid here. So I'm going to choose this area, put my sketch on, and it, it'll lock to the corner points. I'll go corner to corner. I'll press escape to come out of that. There's my line left on there. I'm going to do the same thing again, corner to corner. And I'm going to choose that corner and that corner. Okay, now what I can do is I can swap over and I can come and choose circles. And I'm going to put my circle right in the middle on this sketch. Let's move it so you can see it. And drag outwards. Now it's up to me how big my hole is going to be. I'm going to maybe make it 20 mil. Now it's quite difficult to see because the colour is similar, but I'm going to press enter and then you'll see it a bit clearer. There we go. However, that's only a sketch at the moment. If I check on the top, make sure that that looks like it's in the middle, which it does. So I've drawn my corner to corner and I've drawn my circle right in the middle where the lines meet. Go back to 3D view. And what I can do is I can use the extrude tool again, but this time, instead of pulling upwards to create a kind of peg, I'm going to drag downwards to make a hole. So I'll do it a different way this time. I'm going to choose um, from here extrude you can see if, if you hover over the options it tells you what they are choose extrude I'm going to click and it's going to select the two sections as separate things I can drag this time I don't even bother needing to type in a number I just drag it so it goes longer it goes through the object you can see it's turned red saying this is where it's going to go if I press enter now that will have cut for me a perfect hole through the middle and I can check by rotating around using my mouse I don't want these sketch lines showing because they annoy me a little bit I can hide my sketches and I'm back to my object okay now you're gonna have a go at doing this yourself except you're gonna put a circle a, a hole through both the sides as well so it goes in all directions after you've done that you're gonna have a play with a few other options one of the ones you're gonna do is basically called a chamfer now a chamfer is a flat edge so I'm gonna choose this one and I'm going to choose this edge here. Now you can see it's gone green and there's a little yellow arrow. If I pull that yellow arrow, it puts the edge on. If I want to do it accurately, I can come down here and I can say, right, make that edge two millimeters and press enter. Okay. The thing you're going to do afterwards as well is you're going to put rounded edges on and you can do more than one edge at the same time. So same thing, I'm going to go for my modify. This time I'm going to go for this one called fillet. Choose fillet and then choose whichever edges. Now you're going to probably do them on all your edges, but I'll just do these top four to show you how it works. Same thing, I can pull the arrow, or I can put the number in. So I'm going to go for, in fact, that looks a little bit small. Let's make it a bit more interesting than that. Let's try a five. And when I'm happy, I press enter. Now it still looks a little bit weird. It looks a little bit weird because I've got my lines on there. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to show materials only. Then it starts to look a little bit more interesting if I don't want to see my grid underneath I can turn the grid visibility off now if I wanted to I could take a picture of that by clicking my camera and it will basically ask me where do I want to put that picture I'll give it a name I'll call this one cube to pick and I've got a photograph of my model as well now all I'm going to do on this one before I finish talking is I'm going to make sure I've saved again 